To kick it off, we've got the number one player in the country. He's number one overall. He's the number one QB. We've got Bryce Underwood, six foot three, 210 pounds. He is out of the state of Michigan, where he just won a state title last year. He's committed to LSU. And, you know, obviously the crown jewel of that recruiting class as of right now. So let's take a look at what he brings to the table. I watched his entire um, state championship game. I was very impressed with this guy. His stats kind of speak for themselves. 67% completion, 3,100 yards, a 12.5 yards per attempt, which is really some of the best yards per attempt you're going to see. A 146 rating and 40 touchdowns to only two interceptions in his junior season. You can see here, he also has ability to make things happen on the ground. Um, his overall rushing stats were 25 for 160 and seven per max preps. I'll be honest, it seems like he could contribute more than that if there was an offense that would let him run a little bit more. Uh, I watched the whole game. It seemed like he ran a decent amount, not overly, not a ton of designed runs, but you know, if he needs to scramble, he can. He's definitely athletic. Uh, he has the ability to definitely be a difference maker on the ground if an offense wants him to be. Um, and so, you know, I just really like this kid. I think he should be the QB one as far as what I've seen in the class. Um, going to LSU, you got to love that with what Jaden Daniels just did. And we'll have playmakers galore. One of the guys we're going to talk about next is joining him in the class. So, there's really not a whole lot to dislike. I think if I had to say anything from my evaluation would be sometimes the throwing motion is a little wonky, maybe a little bit inconsistent. Uh, I saw a few throws, you know, that he, it looked like the ball fluttered a little bit, maybe didn't drive it out of his hand, but for the most part, and on the highlights, you're going to see all the good ones in the full game. There was a, a few times where I just didn't think the ball was delivered, you know, as crisp as I might want. That was probably the one thing uh, that was a little bit concerning. I think he's got a very strong arm. I don't have a miles per hour right now or a velocity right now, but um, just looks good. Can make all the throws. I mean, sideline across the middle, all of that. David, I know you've looked at this guy too. I think we all really like him a lot. What are your thoughts on Bryce Underwood? Yeah, I'll just echo all those sentiments too. He's he's my quarterback one as of now. Um, I think the traits that he brings to the table are very translatable to the NFL. Um, he is real athletic. He, he actually ran for a lot more yards um, as a sophomore. He ran for like nearly 700 yards. So he has it in him too. I think he probably focused on, you know, just being more of a, a bit of more of a point guard, working out of the pocket, as, you know, as a junior, sort of uh, polish his game up a little bit. Um, I do agree. Yeah, he can get a little hitchy. Um, not His motion isn't super natural to me. I think he's got work to do on his mechanics. He, he does get a little squatty sometimes on his throws. It's I, it's kind of like a, a bit of a coil he has where he's got this quick twitch coil that he has going on where he just, but he can generate tons of velocity. His his, his velocity, I believe, is the highest in the class that, that Matt measured so far around like 58 to 60 area, which is Whoa. He has an elite arm like he and it's it's probably going to improve. I would imagine, you know, when he cleans up his mechanics, gets a little stronger. So he's going to have an elite elite arm, um, you know, on three actually compared him to um, Lauren, Trevor Lawrence, which I can kind of see because he's a real twitchy guy. Um, also has some minor issues with accuracy. I think he can. I think they both kind of have some accuracy, accuracy issues at times. So I think that's one place to improve. But, I mean, I don't know. He seems like he's got good intangibles. Uh, he's a winner, as they say. Like, he, you know, he brought his high school team to the, to the state championship three straight years in a row. So won two of them. So maybe he can get another one this year. But, yeah, I think just, like, as far as, you know, he's got a 79-and-a-half-inch wingspan. He's got a big frame to add more weight, get stronger. 10 inch, big 10 inch hand. So it's just like, I don't know, all the, all the traits are there for the NFL. <laughs> not, not a whole lot to dislike, by the way, if I don't know, Matt, you can speak to this when you jump in here. I don't know if the velocity measurement, uh, like methods changed, but I mean, 60 would be three miles per hour higher than the top arm in the 2024 class. So that's, you're talking about an absolute howitzer, um, 
if that, you know, if, if it's really 60 by the same exact method, uh, Matt, go ahead and speak, speak to that and, and more. Uh, yeah, it is the still, you know, the same scale as last year. Uh, I, I did adjust everything slightly after the combine to, uh, you know, adjust for the difference there, but I, I did all the ones from before this current class too. So, uh, everything is on the same level. His arm is, you know, very high end. It's elite. He could be throwing balls in the NFL right now and be looking good there in that aspect. Uh, I I really like him. My QB one too as well at this point. Uh, you know, has all the physical tools you can want. Uh, I, I was a bit concerned when I saw the lack of rushing production uh, last season, but obviously he can do it. Uh, you know, if he's asked to. So I, I don't really have any concerns there. He did play kind of below average competition out of Michigan. Uh, nothing he could do about that. He did dominate them. So it's not really a big question mark. But, uh, you know, it does explain some of the really, really high stats. I think, what, 40 touchdowns as a senior or as a junior? So two picks, 40 and two, which is insane. And 12.5 yards per 10. That's also just like nutty. I mean, 10 is real good. 12.5 is bonkers. Uh, I, I guess my other really good concerns with his uh, footwork, he kind of – he's really more of an arm thrower at this point, I think. He doesn't really drive through his hips that much, uh, which, you know, really just shows that how much more room he can uh, put onto that velocity even more if he, uh, I guess, that's situated in college. Uh, he, he has a chance to score higher for me than, I think, any QB in the last two classes. Uh, I mean, we'll see, of course, uh, after his senior season. But, I mean, his upside is arguably the highest of uh, anyone either of those groups. So, uh, big fan uh, and going to a pretty good college situation. So, love that too. Wheels up for Bryce Underwood, folks. I mean, there's just not a whole lot of holes in this game. I think we all are looking at the same thing. So, that is Bryce Underwood, QB1 on three, QB1 on the official don't don't overthink it folks 